Hello YouTube. Got another cat video here for you. Just joking. It's going to be another action figure haul. The cat's just in the office here driving me nuts because I think the dog's on his bed or something. So he's like, he's just in here bugging me. Ain't you? Ain't you? Yeah. Anyway, so that's enough playing with the cat. So I got an action figure haul here for you. Um, so first up, I got Spider-Man. Cat likes him. Cat likes the Spider-Man. Um, this is just a little coin bank that I picked up uh, for a couple bucks at some store. Nothing special. Um, so, uh, same. we'll go with the same place I got that thing from. So I found these things. And if we can keep the cat away from them. Uh, got these little Hot Wheels on these little display bases. I have no idea what they are. Um, cat really is into them though. Um, thanks for the addition, cat. You're really good at this. Um, I don't know what these are. I just know that they are Batman Hot Wheels. Um, I got three of them. Uh, come on, cat. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. Yeah, you can rub all over them. Go for it. Um, but I got three of these little Hot Wheels things. Um... I don't really know what they're from. I know they're from Batman, obviously, but I don't know if they're Hot Wheels. I really don't know what they are. Um, I just thought they were cool together. Uh, they got fingerprints and now cat fur all over them, but I'll clean them up. They should look pretty decent. Um, so next up, I did get a couple of little Star Wars figures. Um, I found an old vintage Lando and Walrus Man. Um, yeah. Just some other little figures to add to my vintage collection. Um, next up, I found um, this Mega Man figure. I don't know which Mega Man this figure this is. Um, I bought it for one of my friends who's into Mega Man. Um, so that's the only reason I bought it. I didn't realize that he was translucent though. Um, but yeah, it's got a little Mega Man. Uh, next up, um, well, let's go this way. Um, I did get some of these, uh, Play Arts, uh, Final Fan or Bandai Final Fantasy figures. So I got Vincent, um, Aerith, 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 yeah, that was her name, and Barrett. So the only one I'm missing is Tifa with her frog. Um, but I've got a lock on it. Hopefully the guy who sold me these, he has the Tifa. He's just looking for the arm and the frog. So hopefully whenever he gets a hold of those. Um, yeah, I don't need you back behind the camera. I'm moving the camera. Do you have to move the camera, cat? Um, so hopefully whenever he finds Tifa, I will have a Tifa in my collection and complete that. So I've already got the Cloud and Sephiroth. You guys seen that in a couple collection videos. Um... Here, go play with the Batmobile, dude. You like the Batmobile, right? Oh, you're just like me. There, rub on the Batmobiles. Um, so next up, I did get some Ninja Turtles. So I got this little uh, bag of the uh, training toddler things. Um, so there's Mikey and Donnie and Leo and Raph. And all of their weapons are down there in the bag. Um, I already have those figures carded, but I've been wanting to set loose. Um, so, yeah. Sorry about the craziness of the video. The cat's finally gone. Or at least off the table, anyway. Um, but it's YouTube. I know you guys like freaking cat videos. Uh, we're going to keep with Ninja Turtles for a while. Um, so i got a couple more. I did find one of the Cave Leo Turtles. Um, I Last haul I found the Triceratops that went with him. Um, I already have one of these boxed. But this one will give me a complete Cave Leo with Triceratops. Um, yeah, he's kind of a cool little loose figure. Um... 
Next up, I got Jin from the 2003 line of TMNT. Um, he's got this little button on his chest, so you hit this, and his arms become all jiggly, and he can do... Yeah, I don't really know the point of that. I, that's the only thing I can figure out, is that's why you would do that. Um, but he does have both of his swords here and the sheaths. So uh, he's just kind of an oddball with uh, really crazy eyes. Like if you look at those, that is, he, that's blue eyes. Uh, one blue east, one blue west. Next up, to go with him, I got a little Usagi Yojimbo. This was the last one I needed to complete all of my Usagis. So now I have... All the Playmates Usagis, I believe. Oh, I think I do, yeah. Um, I wish he was a little bit more... Uh, I wish he didn't have this action. Like, it's not necessary. I don't, we don't need that. Maybe kids liked it. I know these were made for kids. But, anyway. It's really cool. It's a cool Usagi. He's kind of a little bit tougher to find, too. So, um, I am happy to have him. Because I've never actually had one of him. Or seen one of him, actually. Uh, next up, I ordered... Um, I'm going to slide some of this stuff back here. I ordered a uh, Pogo Copter. Because it had some parts I needed to complete mine. So, this is mine with all the extra... He's got his missiles on both sides. And the two machine guns. The two uh, rocket thingies that spin up here. And the two searchlights. Um, I have an extra searchlight. Um, I was trying to pull this off. And I don't know if you can see. But the plastic started going uh, white on me from the wear. So I'm just going to take the sticker off my spare one of these. And just put the sticker on here and leave this on. So I don't have to move this. Because uh, after these things have been on here for years. They do not like to be moved. And you can see it's getting... Yeah. I don't want to risk breaking it. So... Because that would be hard to change, and this thing's in really good shape. So um, now that he's got all, now that it's got all of its weapons, and I did the exact same thing with um, this. Um, that was a long freaking pause. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the stupid motorcycle. Psycho Cycle. The Psycho Cycle. Yeah. Um, so it is now 100% complete. Um, it's got the skull, the handlebars, all of the missiles are intact. This is actually, if you have one of these, these are three separate pieces. Um, so sometimes they get separated or missing. Um, and the... Uh, crow and the bars back here are tough to find too so um yeah i am very happy to have this um very happy to have this uh complete um so next up we're gonna have to move some more stuff because we're gonna have to make some room here we got some stuff coming out here uh next up got one of the x-men pocket comics uh inbox it was six bucks I had this one as a kid, so I was really happy to get it. Um, I actually had um, this one and this one too. Um, so I had all three of these. I did not have the one with Omega Red. I really would have liked to have had that one. Um, I guess I never seen it or never had a chance to get it. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened to these over the years, but... Anyway. Um... Actually, I may not have had this one as a kid because I think I had the Sabretooth and Wolverine and this one. I'm not sure. I may have had all three. I don't remember. It's been a long time ago. I was a kid a long, long time ago. I'm an old piece of shit now. Anyway. Um, so we're going to move on to... Um, I'm just going to mix it up. We'll do a couple here and there. Uh, so this is one of the... Uh, this is Soundwave Titanium. I uh, got him for, you can see, four bucks. They painted on him at the store I bought him from. Uh, so I'm going to have to see if I can find something to remove the paint, which I think will be pretty easy. 
but he seemed like he was complete. He's got his, um, I want to say that is uh, Ravage inside of there. Um, come on. Uh, or is that laser beak? Um, we're gonna we're gonna call that laser beak because I'm not really sure which one it is. I know it's a bird, the bird that transforms, I guess. Um, but yeah, he's got his tape. He's got his batteries, the hand, um, everything's there. So uh, for four bucks, I was pretty happy to have him. Uh, I looked him up, and it was would have been I would have it would have been tough to find one even under ten bucks. So. Uh, very happy to have him. And with that one, I picked up uh, Rodimus, one of the um, titanium edition ones, too. Um, he is missing his gun, but he was, uh, um, looks like five bucks. But the place had him half price, so I got this, this, and the Spider Man, and the three uh, Batmobiles, I want to say for 15 bucks for everything or something. So. Um, it was relatively cheap because these things were half price. So it was the Spider-Man and the Batmobiles. So, um, yeah. Uh, next up, I picked up a Human Alliance. Uh, this one, I believe, was Leadfoot. Uh, the only reason I got this is one of the third-party companies made an after, uh, uh, well, a third-party kit add-on for this that adds all the guns on it um i don't know why they even made this toy without the guns on it because i don't think in the movie they ever showed it once without the guns on it um so it was just kind of odd i guess maybe it was a nascar thing i don't know but anyway um yeah that's the only reason i got this i'm gonna eventually buy that kit although the kit is more exp almost twice two to three times as much as what I paid for the car. Next up, a little G1 goodness. Um, was this Twin Twist or something like that? I don't remember the names. I didn't grow up with G1, so... Yeah. Um, I can't remember his name. I, I know what his name is. Leave it in the comments if you want, but... Uh, when I start filming these videos, my mind goes blank. It's late at night, and uh, yeah, I haven't got much sleep. But anyway, back to the toy. So I got him because he is very, very clean. He's an original. Uh, all of his stickers seem like they're in really good shape. So um, I, I kind of have a rule of if I find a G1 Transformer under 5 bucks and it's in pretty good shape, I buy it. So not really a rule, but I don't really like spending a ton of money on G1 just because I didn't grow up with it. I like a lot of them. Um, you've seen some of my other G1 stuff in my hauls, but I don't go for the really high dollar G1 figures because I can't afford them and they don't mean a ton to me because they were basically going off the air when I was born almost. So like G1 was not something I actually grew up with. Um, anyway, so along that same vein, I uh, got, um, <laughs> really bad condition, um, Ultra Magnus, uh, or a bleach white Optimus Prime. I'm not sure which. I'm going to say it's Optimus or Ultra Magnus, but he's in pretty bad shape. He doesn't have any accessories. He's missing. He's got a pipe busted here. He's really got no paint or chrome, or at least not much of it left. Um, but um, the rub symbol is still there and seems like it works. Or, yeah kind of works um but anyway so i got him um yeah uh next up i got a wheel jack i believe this was the generations line wheel jack i already have him carded uh actually he's right there um so um just kind of wanted a loose one he was five bucks, I think, but he is missing both of his wrenches, but for five bucks, can't really argue with that too much, you know, yeah. Um, so, next up, I got an Optimus Prime from the animated series. I really, really like this figure. Uh, 
I've only watched a couple episodes from Animated. I need to watch the whole thing. It was just... One, the first episode, it was awful. I've been told that I need to watch it farther in and I might like it. Um, it's not a, it's not something that just grabbed me. Like, Beast Wars, the first time I've seen it when I was a kid, grabbed me. And as an adult, I really liked Prime. Uh, I watched every episode of Transformers Prime. I thought it was great. Um, uh, same way with Prime, Beast Wars, I loved as a kid. Um, this cartoon really didn't get me. And I think it's a lot of it's the animation. Um, uh, but the figures are amazing. Uh, I have a lot, you've seen a lot of them in my haul videos. Um, I think the animated figures are some of the, my favorite figures. Um, one of the ones I am really wanting to find is Lugnut. I have not found a Lugnut, but hopefully one of these days I will run across one, but I will need to find a shield and an ax for this guy. Hopefully I'll find one on eBay. More than likely, though, I have a feeling that it's going to cost me as much to find an axe and a shield as it would have to bought just a complete figure um, because he's not very expensive, so I should have just bought him complete. But I thought he was cool. I didn't have a Prime, so I needed a Prime, apparently, right then and there. Um, next up... Are you guys sick of watching this stuff yet? Uh, next up, got a Skywarp. From Fall of Cybertron. Oh, he has his guns too. Um, we'll put his gun right there. Maybe not. We'll clamp it on here. Come on. There you go. Um, yeah, he's just a cool figure. I kind of wanted him and didn't buy him. And then I probably spent... As much as I would have if I would have bought him brand new whenever I first came across him as I did having to buy him loose. But I don't know. I think I paid 8 bucks for him. And I think these things were 10 bucks when they first came out or something. I don't remember. Um, you guys like Transformers? Uh, if you do, like, subscribe, leave some comments. Uh, I'm really tired right now. So this is just not coming off very well. But... Don't worry, I've still got more toys to show. We're not done. Uh, I just want you guys to comment and tell me how much you like Transformers and uh, why did you start collecting Transformers? I don't care. Just say something in the comments. Like, subscribe. I don't know. Just don't send dick pics. I don't know how you would on YouTube, but someone would figure it out. I'm tired. Did I mention I'm tired? Did I mention how tired I am? I don't think I did. All right, back to the toys. Um, so to go with my, um, Starscream that I got, uh, it's probably been about a year ago in one of these haul videos, um, I found a Thundercracker. This is a really cool figure. I like this mold a lot. I like these figures. Now all I need to do is find a Skywarp version of this. Um, and I will have all three Seekers. It'll be the only line that I have three Seekers in. Um, get down. Dude, you're... Knocking everything over, dude. Seriously. I don't even know why you're up there. Alright, sorry about that. Cat is being very destructive. Uh, Alright, so I'm back. Um, before I go into two other Transformers, um, I did get South Park Stick of Truth. Um, cause it was five bucks and I offered him three bucks and they took three bucks and I've heard this game was a lot of fun and I don't play video games anymore. That's why it's a 360 and not some kind of new system. I have a 360 that I, I, I've, I've got three brand new games for it. This is a f the fourth game that I've not played yet. So I got four games sitting in there that have never been played. Um, all the other games have, but, um, yeah. I don't know why I bought it. Don't know. I might play it. Who knows? I might get bored one day and break it out and play it. Who knows? Um, also, I haven't been buying very many comic books lately, but I did pick up this J. Scott Campbell uh, Deja Thoris. Um, only because it was a J. Scott Campbell cover. I don't intend on reading this probably, so it may be a good book. If it is, let me know. But um, yeah, I just had to get uh, J. Scott Campbell who someone pointed out that his women look like Disney princesses. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they are hot Disney princesses, but the face, yep. 
now it's emblazoned in my head that these are freaking Disney princesses, and I feel weird about that. Um, but yeah, he is still one of my favorite artists. Um, all right, dude, if you're gonna stay up there, I don't know what to do with you. Get it, get All right, we're gonna get you down. Get off. Get down. All right, so next up, um, Springer Generations. Generations? Generations. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna say he's from Generations line. I can't remember. It's a complete Springer. Um, I want to say I paid fifteen bucks for him, uh, which pisses me off because I could have bought this guy brand new on clearance for seven dollars, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna wait and see if I can get it for five, and I couldn't. So. Um, and then I seen all these reviews and everyone was talking about how cool he looks and he's got a really cool robot mode. Um, yeah. And I never miss, never got a chance to get him. So for whatever reason, I paid 15 bucks for a loose one or 10 bucks. I paid monies for it. Dollars. I don't know how many could have been a couple this many. I don't know. Not shocker many like that with that. I didn't pay that for it. No one's gonna no no one's gonna accept a shocker for a uh, Springer. It, well, some people will. Some of you guys are weirdos. I I have a feeling someone would have. Um, next up, I uh, got um, Brainstorm. I think that was Brainstorm. It's not Brainiac. Anyway, unfortunately, this well, not unfortunately that this is an awesome robot mode and he looks amazing and I should have got this figure a long time ago. His vehicle modes, meh. Robot mode looks amazing. Um, but he is missing one of his um, shin guards and uh, I will probably never be able to track that down. I probably won't even try to track it down if I ever run across another one of these again. For a dollar, I might buy it, but um, yeah. Yeah. Um, he, he just looks really cool. So I bought him. Um, I don't know why. He's going to go in a box probably because I don't have enough room in this room. I'm going to have to move. <sighs> anyway. First world problems. Bitching about how I have too many toys so now I have to move to a bigger house. It's problems. Anyway. Anyway. I got a couple of dino butts. I'll just go ahead and bring in this other one in here right now. Yeah, there's there they are. There's Sludge. There's Snarl. Look at the two little dino butts. Um, so this completes... Uh, well, this would complete Volcanicus. It actually does complete Volcanicus, but he will never be combined unless they combine in the packages. I don't think they do. They don't combine this way. Um, yeah, I don't intend on taking these guys out. I think the box art looks really cool on these guys. Um, I've seen pictures of Volcanicus. He doesn't throw me at all. Um, I like the Dinobots by themselves. Um, so I'm just going to leave him in the boxes for now. So, yeah. Uh, he might be opened up one day, but not very, not anytime soon. Uh, next up, Walmart had some to Transformers. On clearance, I want to say I paid three dollars for this because if you look, uh, Berserker's head is off the peg. So I said, "Hey, can I get him?" Because he was five bucks. I said, "Hey, his his head's broken. I, uh, can I get it cheaper?" And they gave it to me cheaper. And uh, that's just a rule. If something's missing its head, you don't pay full price for it. Um, unless, yeah, there's all kinds of little head jokes there. I'm, I'm just too tired to make any, so. And uh, some of you guys are kids, and you don't need to know about that stuff. Uh, next up, I got a Grimlock. Because uh, for the same reason, he was 5 or 6 or something dollars. Um, I don't remember how much he was, but he was on clearance, and I bought him. I didn't have another Grimlock. Another Grimlock. I didn't have uh, this version of Grimlock, anyway. I had one. And I returned it because I bought it and thought, hmm, that looks like crap. So now I have this one. And uh, he still doesn't look any better. Um, but he was cheap. So, yeah. So I will buy any amount of crap as long as it is cheap. Is what I'm trying to get at with this. If you don't see this stuff, most of the stuff I didn't really want. I like it all. But it wasn't on my want list. That's the problem with collecting. Is you buy stuff... 
It's not really something you really, really want. You should save your money and buy something you really want. Like, I could have bought something really cool for the price of all this stuff. But I I, I spent a little bit of money here. And I spent a little bit of money here. And I spent a little bit of money here. And the next thing you know, you're buying a bunch of crap that you have no place to put. And you never bought the cool stuff you really want. So, that's uh, my tip of the day. Uh, don't buy the crap you don't want. Um which most of the stuff I actually did kind of want. Uh, I could have passed on Ultra Magnus and Spin Twist, Twin Twist, Cock Ring Twist thing, Jimmy Crack Corn and I Don't Care guy over there. Um, but the rest of the stuff, you know, I kind of wanted. I didn't need the Spider Man or the Batmobiles, but they were fucking cool and you don't pass up a $2 Batmobile that's on a display. So come on. Um, anyway, so tip of the day uh, yeah, watch how you spend your money. Um, uh, next up, Autobot Hound, he was $7, um, I was pretty happy to pay $7 for him, well, cause I wouldn't have paid $8 for him, but seven, seven I was there, seven I was okay with, uh, that box art is really cool, the figure looks nothing like the box art, obviously, they never do, but... You know, if I ever ran across, I don't know if I'll actually open this one, but if I ever ran across one that the box is in better condition, I would open this one and custom paint the hell out of him because he has so much detail on him that doesn't come through. Uh, I would love to have another one of these to paint. Um, but I'm one of those guys that I won't custom paint something unless I have an original. I don't know why I'm that way. Um, I just am. So, yeah. Um... I don't know how to do this last one because it's kind of big. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to do this. So, uh, I'm going to let you guys look up there. Why? Oh, shit. Well, that just kind of ruined it. Uh, so, I got Ray and her speeder uh, for 25 bucks at Walmart. Uh, Black Series. Mm. I wanted this one. I really, really wanted this one. Um, but I never bought it. I passed on it several times, and finally this time for 25 bucks, I was not going to pass on it. Um, the same thing goes for Luke and his uh, Land Speeder. Um, yeah, I just, for 25 bucks a piece for each set... Uh, I really just couldn't pass it up. I really wanted both of these sets, and I was really upset that I had passed up on buying them when they were on clearance for uh, 35 bucks a set. So, um, yeah, I had to buy them. Um, but I really like this Ray. Uh, I don't know what it is about these chunky speeder bikes I really like. Um, even if she wasn't in Star Wars, you can't... You have to admit that that is just a really cool looking sci-fi figure on a cool looking speeder. Aside from the fact that it was in Star Wars, that looks really cool. Uh, Luke's, on the other hand, um, you know, I love it because it's the vintage land speeder and whatnot. But uh, I've always been more of a my motorcycle bike kind of guy anyway. So this just, that looks really freaking cool. Um, but yeah, so I uh, know... There was a lot in the video, a lot of cats, cats rubbing their heads on stuff, me being tired and talking utter nonsense, um, taking really long pauses because my brain is just not firing on all cylinders, and the fact that I just said utters a few minutes ago, and now my brain's going like cow utter, uh, yeah, it's, I'm all over the place, so um, that's why my collection is like this, because I'm all over the place. You know, all this odd crap that I collect. Anyway, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching the video. Anyway, um, before I go into some kind of shock-like state, uh, I'm going to stop this video and thanks for watching. Holy shit, you guys have been watching for 29 minutes, or I've been filming for 29 minutes, and you guys probably only skipped ahead and watched bits and pieces. Smart. Smart on your part.
That is a really cool figure, though. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I, I, I would hope that Prime listens to metal. Especially with head motion like that. Why are you guys still here? Seriously, how long how long are you guys gonna watch this for? Are you still watching? You're probably waiting on your next video to come on, and I'm just wasting time. Anyway, bye bye.